Hello, my name is Jordan Moore. Uh, this is just a hi, and uh, thank you for even considering my application to everybody there at the Josh Salmon Foundation. Um, I was told about this application and scholarship um, through my friend Chachi. Uh, he's one of my students at my MMA gym where I currently train at Gracie Brandon. Uh, and I teach him, and I see that he is involved with the Josh Salmon Foundation with my other friend, Mitchell Tremale, who I've seen post about this before, but recently Chachi asked me to apply to it um, as I'm competing a lot right now, competing almost every month in uh, preparation to get uh, to the ADCC trials, which I am competing in later this year in hopes of getting to ADCC. Um, so just a little bit about me. Like I said, I still currently uh, train at Gracie Brandon. I work at USAA as a property assessment um, investigator and I look for fraud and things like that. Um, I started working for USAA after I got off of my time on active duty in the Marines. I now still currently serve in the Marine Corps Reserve and continue to drill monthly. And I plan on retiring from the Marines after 20 to 30 years, uh, just depending on where I'm at in life, but at least I wanna hit 20. Um, so I got started in competing in combat sports uh, by my grandpa. And it's actually right there and that's his flag uh, for his service in World War II. Uh, that's him with my dad also as well in that picture. Um, but he started boxing uh, before the army and then he got noticed when he was in the army and they put him on the army boxing team, which he then taught my dad how to box. My dad became a junior Olympian um, and he boxed out of the Winter Haven Pal when he was younger, which I also boxed out of. And that's where some of my appreciation uh, for this foundation came from as well through Josh. I know Josh was really big about giving back to the MMA community. I'm very big about giving back to the martial arts community and the children of this community, given the gym I came under, the Winter Haven Pal, who, you know, is predicated upon, you know, supplying to people and uh, children of, you know, lesser, uh, you know, less fortunate neighborhoods um, and making sure they're, you know, in the boxing gym doing, you know, safer things than being out on the street. So um, I boxed under Winter Haven Pal. Um, I had some amateur matches under them in boxing uh, as both as when I was younger in my teen years and then again as an adult. And I started wrestling in high school. I wrestled for Lakeland High School. And then from there, I started doing MMA and Jiu Jitsu about eight or nine years ago. And uh, in that time frame, uh, I was going through a lot of life changes. I ended up joining the Marines. I trained out in California while I was stationed there for a while, Southern California at Autos. And then when I came back, I trained for a short time again at Champions of MMA and eventually coming over to the Gracie Tampa Network, which is now my home at Gracie Brandon. Um, and I can try to continue to compete all the time. Um, I think I failed to mention I did wrestle a little bit for Southeastern University for a short time as well, but I continue to compete all the time in jiu-jitsu. I want to make it to the ADCC and I do want to fight pro MMA and fight professional boxing. Um, I want to carry on that legacy and become a professional fighter. Um, and I, you know, I just want to continue to give back by coaching like I do now at my MMA gym and coaching the younger generation and, you know, I'm, uh, I'm done with my bachelor's degree, but I'm going back to school to become a medical provider. And I want to be able to sponsor people as you guys sponsor people and, you know, host free physicals for fighters um, out of my clinic and then also become a ringside physician or be certified for that. That way I can uh, lesser the cost of the promoter, such as Mitchell, um, you know, somebody who also gives a ton to the MMA community. And, you know, we've seen him in recent times do so. And he got a shout out from Boss Root because he did such a great job. But um, I think that's all about me um, and my journey. And I just want to thank you again for even considering me for this. And no matter what you guys decide to do with the scholarship money, I know you'll do great things. Thank you again.